In Queensland, we can experience extreme wet weather, either as single events or a succession of events. Therefore, it is important to plan for wetter conditions and possible extreme rain events. There are several actions that you can take each year before summer commences to prepare for those circumstances. From our experience in previous wet seasons, sites that are well prepared and have their wet season contingencies in place tend to manage much better during significant weather events and are also less likely to attract regulatory intervention from the department. Prior to the wet weather season, you should ensure there is adequate capacity in any water storage dams on your site. High rain events can also impact the integrity of dams. Therefore, maintenance works on-site dams and water storage facilities should be done ahead of any forecasted major rain event. Clean water diversion is key in managing site runoff. You should be minimising the vol volume of water that requires management ahead of each summer season and divert uncontaminated surface water from the site. Pre-wet season testing should be undertaken on pumps, release gates, valves, flow meters or other systems used in the operation. Testing and calibrating monitoring equipment and remote remote sensing equipment prior to the wet season will ensure they operate smoothly at short notice and any recorded results can be relied upon. Making sure everything is working smoothly prior to the forecasted weather event is important to meet your general environmental duty. For larger sites with regulated structures and spillways, opt make sure that all their water management systems are operational. Establishing a baseline before an event is critical to understand contamination impacts following an event and to determine the effectiveness of mitigation measures. Operators should establish a baseline by understanding past and current water quality, identify, identifying on-site and off-site contaminant sources, and reviewing the controls in place. In the event of a release to the environment, operators can compare post-event sample results against the baseline to determine the contamination impacts. Maintenance activities such as desilting of dams may be required to ensure suitable capacity is available in the structure. Water management storages must have sufficient capacity, particularly if they are a regulated structure. Your environmental authority may also contain conditions requiring that certain activities are to occur before the wet season and may stipulate what nature of events the structure is required to capture. For example, it might be a 1 in 10 year annual reoccurrence interval. So understanding what storm events look like, how much rain a storm can deliver, and how that converts into the storage requirements on site will allow operators to ensure there is adequate storage available.